everybody. I hope you had a great weekend and you are ready for this week. Uh, I've been getting a lot of people asking me, what does it take to get toned? I do all these ab exercises, I try to eat right, um, I'm working out and I'm still not seeing any results. Um, my answer to you is time. Time and the correct types of movement and the correct types of diet. There's tons of different things that go along with losing the weight. But I want to talk to you guys a little bit about what my progress has been like. Because a lot of people look at me and think, oh, you've always been skinny, you've always looked great, blah, 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 blah. And to you, I say, no, I have not. You know, I've never looked this good in my entire life. Um, not even when I first started working out. There was a point where I got down to to 16% body fat, but I didn't look anything like this. I wasn't exercising properly, I wasn't doing the right nutrition, and I just didn't know how my body reacted to certain things and what my body needed. The older I've gotten and the more I've practiced, I'm starting to realize what it takes to get the definition, to get the body fat down, and to get the definition in the places that I wanna get it. Getting rid of the cellulite has been the biggest thing. So I wanna show you these two pictures. The picture on the top is from 2012, and this is what I was saying that I was in the best shape of my life. I just took a similar picture uh, a couple weeks ago, um, so obviously 2018, um, and you can see definitely in the legs a huge difference. So the picture on the top, I, I was 138 pounds in both of these pictures. I was 16% body fat in the picture on the top, and I was 15% body fat on the picture on the bottom. That 1% difference, a lot of people will say, well, how, how is the scale the same, but the body fat's different? It's because I've built more muscle in the lower picture and that's why my body fat is lower but my weight has stayed the same so I have more muscle mass than I have in the up the top picture but you can see a huge difference in my legs extremely I wish I was wearing shorts in the bottom picture but you can even still see through my leggings the definition in, in my quads are completely different than the picture from 2012 you also can see in 2012 I still had a lot of cellulite and that was when I was starving myself and when I said that I wasn't doing it properly that's exactly what I mean I was starving myself it was not good the picture on the bottom I eat six times a day. I eat over 200 grams of carbs, 80 grams of fat. I mean, I'm eating a lot. But you can see a huge difference between those two pictures. Fast forwarding a couple years later, 2016 was a really rough year for me. Um, I had just gone through my uh, traumatic experience and put on a lot of weight, as you can see here. Um, on the left, I was 160 pounds, 26% body fat. Um, almost exactly two years later, I am now down to 138 pounds and 15.5% body fat. But what I really want you guys to look at is the legs. Again, the cellulite has been my hardest area to to break um, I have tons of pictures that were taken in between these two years that I can even show you further detail on um, how long it really took for that cellulite to go away uh, but being persistent being on a good plan on a good nutrition plan a good exercise plan stretching drinking enough water taking in the right supplements all of that put together I am now finally at a place where I still have some cellulite but it's not nearly as bad as it was pre previous um, back in 2016. But I also want you to see that it took two years for me to get to this point. Um, it is not something that will happen overnight. You have to put in the effort, you have to put in the time, you have to be patient, and you have to fight for what you want. I always tell people, how long did it take you to learn your job? Most people will say, well, I went to school and I got a degree in it. I'm like, okay, but once you got hired at your real job, then how long did it take you to really understand how to do your position fully? And it usually, people will say a couple months, a year, and I say, yeah, the same goes for your fitness journey. It will take time, but you will master it and it will become second nature. I also want to show you that the your aesthetics, what you see in the mirror, is not always 
accurate. So you can look at these two pictures and an untrained eye would see, oh, okay, well, I mean, there's slight difference in the body. I mean, yeah, the abs are a little bit flatter, the arms are a little bit more toned, the legs a little bit more toned, but overall, it doesn't look like a huge difference. Well, when you look at the scale, I actually lost 10 pounds in between these pictures. 10 pounds. It doesn't look like that at all. And my body fat dropped almost 4% in these two months. This is a two month span uh, from January 1st, 2018 to March 1st, 2018. Um, so I also wanna just encourage you to um, take pictures of yourself because if you look at the scale, it's gonna look really dramatic, but in the mirror, it doesn't look as dramatic or it can be vice versa. Sometimes in the mirror, we're gonna see things that we don't necessarily see on the scale. So it's very important when you are measuring your progress that you're doing it in multiple ways, not just by what the scale says. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know that was a lot of information, um, but I, I wanted to kind of put things into perspective for you. A lot of people see these ads on TV, lose 30 pounds in 30 days. That is not realistic. That is a quick fix to a problem that will last forever, okay? We will always struggle with maintaining our ideal body image. I struggle with it all the time, but I am not giving up. I am determined to keep pushing through, and this is not the final product. I, I have so far to go still. There's so much that I wanna work on, but this is a great first step, and I have definitely accomplished my goals. Yes, it took two years. Yes, it took a long, hard process, but you know what? I would do it all over again. So I hope you guys liked my video. Um, let me know in the comments below how you liked it. Let me know in the comments below if there's anything you want me to touch on for next week. Um, my name is Miranda Forcier of Forcier Fitness, and I will see you next Monday. Take care.